Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the women's NBA games that were played on July 3rd. So there's actually one game that happened on this day. Um, it was the Phoenix Mercury playing against the Dallas Wings. Um, you know, the Phoenix Mercury have definitely been a team that has been on a lot of people's radar um, because of who they brought in this offseason. And, you know, they already had Diana Taurasi, Brittany Grinder, Sophia Cunningham on team. And then this offseason, they brought in Rebecca Allen, Natasha Cloud, and Clea Copper. So not only were they already had, you know, a good amount of players on the team, they just added on to their um, players that are, you know, can score on all three levels and play the point guard position and really, um, you know, put their team on their back in some games if they really needed to for these players that they added to their team. And the Dallas Wings, on the other hand, you know, they have, you know, Arika Gumwale, Tierra Macau, Santu Savali on their team, and um, they've, you know, been really hit. Natasha Howard, they've been hit with some really bad injuries um, throughout the season. You know, they had a very high hopes for the rookie Jayla Brown. She dropped 20 points in one of their preseason games so you know a lot of people were like you know this player is definitely underrated brown was definitely underrated you know as one of the rookies in the draft um you know so for this game for the minnesota league um sorry phoenix mercury and dallas leagues um the phoenix mercury are now healthy you know everyone's um oh actually i take that back um chris osborne I mean, sorry, Kristen Osborne. She's still out with a lower leg injury for the Phoenix Mercury. Um, but still out for the Dallas Wings. Satu Sabali, she's been out this whole season. She has came back since with a shoulder injury. Um, Maddie Seegers, she um, got a broken finger in one of the games. She's had surgery. Um, so now it's her road to recovery. <laughs> And Jalen Brown is out with the illness. She hasn't played a single regular season game. She played in preseason, but hasn't played in the regular season. So in this game, Phoenix Mercury would win this game 104 to 96, and now be 10 and 10 on the season. And the Dallas Wings would now be 4 and 16 on the season with this loss. Natasha Howard was the highest scoring player in this game for the Dallas Wings. She had 36 points, 11 rebounds, and 1 assist, and shot 11 to 15 from field goal attempts. Another player I wanted to highlight, Odyssey Sims. She had 13 points, 1 rebound, and 6 assists, and shot 11, uh, 5 of 11 field goal attempts. And since Odyssey Sims has been now put, uh, signed with the Dallas Wings, um, you know, she's been with them for probably a week now. These last two games, she has been inserted into the starting lineup. Um, instead of coming off the bench for them and she's definitely brought you know points for them and not only that but she's really like helping them flow the game and she is speeding up the game um you know not only her with her speed and getting the ball moving up the floor but also having the other players move up the floor as well and run you know for her and putting on that point guard role for the Dallas Wings as Odyssey Sims is doing. The high scoring player in this game for the Phoenix Mercury was Clea Copper. She had 34 points, one rebound, and one assist, and shot three or four from three point attempts. And another player I wanted to highlight for the Phoenix Mercury in this game was Rebecca Allen. She had 14 points, three rebounds. She had five, she shot five of eight from field goal attempts and four or five from three point attempts. Rebecca Allen is definitely a player I want to say is underrated in the women's NBA. That she shoots very well. Um, her defense is great. You know, she's really she really shows her presence defensively and she's a good three-point shooter um you know it's gonna be interesting to see the three-point shooters that are picked you know going into the all-star game because there's a lot of players that are shooting very well from the three-point line um this season in the women's nba and you know it's very interesting to see you know who goes into that but yes so going into the next three games for the phoenix mercury they'll play against the los angeles sparks july 7th Dallas Wings July 10th and Indiana Fever July 12th. The next three games for Dallas Wings they'll play against the Atlanta Dream July 5th, Las Vegas Aces July 7th, and Phoenix Mercury July 10th. So that is my breakdown of the Phoenix Mercury playing against the Dallas Wings. Um, the Dallas Wings obviously are looking to 
you know, turn around their season after coming back from the um, Olympics slash All-Star break for them. Phoenix Mercury are just lighting it up, um, you know, just getting started. So they're definitely a team that's um, going into the playoffs is definitely going to be a top five team, I believe. But yes, that is all for this video. We'll be breaking down the women's NBA game that was played on July 3rd. Please subscribe to my channel so you guys can keep up with all my videos. Thank you guys for watching. Bye, guys.